Hi. A lot of things have happened since last time, and I'm going to be covering them all more or less in this video. First of all, I quit my job at the preschool. I um, did it because I had to. You could say I didn't want to necessarily, but I quit because of illness. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you may or may not know that I was born with a heart and lung condition, and I had like a bunch of surgeries when I was a little girl, and they fixed the problem, but I still only use one lung, you could say. It's like I, ha I have one and a half, but I kind of use one. So imagine only being able to breathe half as much as I do now, and then imagine like getting a really bad cough on top of that and breathing even more poorly or whatever. Um, so obviously that's not fun and that's what happened to me. I kept getting sick all the time with a really bad cough and when you work at preschool you have to, you know, take into account that you're gonna get sick at times quite a lot, probably frequently. But I kept having really bad colds and then I was fine all summer when I didn't work and then I went back to work after some break and I was there for six days and then I got a cold again and I thought it was just a regular one but then the cough came and I went to the local clinic here to be like, hey, really back off. And they were like, well, your saturation, like blood saturation, like obviously the levels, blah, blah, blah. it was kind of low. So she was like, you know what? I think you should go to the actual hospital, which is too, not because it's an emergency as such. I can tell that you're, you know, doing okay, but just to make sure that you're not developing any sort of pneumonia or anything, just better safe than sorry. And I was like, you know, because of my condition, I've always heard better safe than sorry. So I do understand. And that's because... And then I had to go, like, because of that, I had to go to the ER, because when you go to the actual hospital without an appointment, that's the only place you can go to. So she sent a little note there, and I spent half the day in the ER, and they did tests. That's just not normal, really. And then after that, I was back at work for, um, they gave me a bunch of medicine and stuff, and I was fine. <laughs> they did a long x-ray and everything. I was fine. So I was sent home. Again, better safe than sorry. So they gave me antibiotics and stuff like that. And then they sent me home. And then after that, I made sure that I was really, really, really 100% healthy before I went back to work. And people kept telling me, is this really the best place for you to be? And I was like, no, probably not. But I want to keep trying just a little bit longer, you know. And then I was back for three days. And then I had a cold. And that time it was even worse. And again, I went to the clinic and they were like, are you getting out of breath by talking? And I was like, yeah, just a little bit, but I've been having, I've been having this cold. And then she was like, go to the freaking ER. So I went to the ER again and spent not only half the day there, but literally the entire day. And again, they did a bunch of tests and stuff and I was kind of fine, except my oxygen levels were really low. So they gave me oxygen for a while. And then they were like, would you like to go home like last time? And I was like, well, I can, but... And they were like, would you like to get admitted to the hospital for a while? And I was like, you know what? <laughs> it would be nice, a nice comfort to know that I can literally press a button and someone will come and help me. And so I was in the hospital for six days and I got a lot of footage because the only thing there was to do was the video blog, basically. So I want to... Maybe I'll do, because oh, I have a lot of footage I ranted for like 15 minutes into the camera sometimes. So maybe I'll make that into a series coming soon. I don't know. Um, I like some of the things I, I, I got at least. So I don't have like exciting footage of, of the people and the places and the needles and <laughs> the stuff. And I'm sure some of you are disappointed and some of you are like, oh, thank God. Basically, it's me just talking into camera. Um. And giving you a tour of my room and stuff like that. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so I realized that was my wake up call. I was like, no matter how much I love working there, if I'm gonna get this sick when I do get a regular cold, I have to um, avoid getting sick as much as possible. So I had to quit. <sighs> and I don't wanna think about it too much because it's just so sad. Because I wanted to do that for the foreseeable future. Like, I wanted to work there and they offered me a paid position, part-time, like an actual job, because they started out having more of an internship there, and they were really, they treated me kind of like an equal, even though I was younger than most, and also, um, I didn't have a specific education when it came to childcare, so you'd think that maybe sometimes that would be a little bit like, oh, that's the new little girl that knows nothing, you know, but absolutely not, um, 
like not even a hint of anything. They were really, really goofy and silly um, when it came to their personality and really open-minded and fun. And the children, I can't even begin to explain how much I adored the children. And it's a bit sad to keep thinking that, you know, I'm never going to see those kids again. Uh, but, you know, you do what you got to do because I just, I just can't keep being that sick, it's just not possible. But on a happy note, I rode a freaking steam train. Like, I love steam trains because, well, love how I like them. I, they're just cool that you could, in the past, like in history, just build such big machines that could go so fast and pull so much weight. Just that is pretty much incredible. But when they get really, really big, they're sort of intimidating. <laughs> it was a little creepy. But um, they're beautiful too. And I love like their, the use of steam trains, both in fiction and reality. I think it's really cool and cozy. Um, and I've always wanted to go on a steam train. But obviously, they don't go around driving steam trains all willy-nilly here. But I happened to see an ad in the paper. They had an event where you could ride one just for a little while. And you think that you can kind of hear the regular, you know, when you're on a train. On a regular modern train, yeah, with the steam train, you could really hear and feel, you know, that ch -ch 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 -ch. it was so cool. And it was summer at that point, so the windows were cracked a bit, and people were like trying to look out a little bit, not like hanging out the windows, but looking a little bit. And the, but I sat down, but you could see the smoke going by the windows, you know, it was it was just super cool, and you could smell it in the air because the window was or you were open, so. Sebrega! <laughs> I also saw live at figure skating because my aunt called me up one day and she was like, Hey, this is kind of a weird thing, but I was thinking maybe if you'd like to join me because they have this elite thing, da da da, and a couple of, and I'm not interested in the younger, maybe the kids and stuff like that because I don't know anyone you, you know, and all. But they have maybe we could go watch more of the seniors and then I'm like, I thought she was calling to be kind to me, to be like, hey, I know that you love figure skating, want to go watch some with me, because I didn't even know this was happening. Um, but no, she was being like, oh, please humor me and go with me. And I'm like, oh my god, are you crazy? Of course I'm going to go with you. Um, I, like, you have to go with me. <laughs> and we went, and I saw real life figure skating, and ah, uh, so beautiful, awesome. Um... Super cool. I'm kind of a casual fan though, because I started out a couple of years ago being fairly obsessed with it, you know, but I never keep track of when it's on TV and when the con song contests that are being aired and others not. And the only time I really watch it is when it's when I know for sure when it's on, which is like Winter Olympics. And then I watch everything. Um, love it. Love it. Um, Oh my gosh, in other news, it's been my birthday, I'm now 29 years old, I don't act like it most of the time, I don't look like it all the time, uh, I'm still catching up, so to speak, with my age, but uh, still more 29 now than I was. I mean, if you watch my, I always say that, if you watch my really early videos, you will see me acting like I'm 14 or 15, and in reality, I'll say that I'm 20, that's because... I don't know, my family's always had a theory that, um, because I spent, again, to relate it back to the hospital stuff, I spent like half, half, more than half of my childhood in hospitals. I've had nine surgeries in my life, and they were like, you, you barely, you know, you, and, and I, speaking of preschools, I wasn't allowed to go to, like, kindergarten here because of the infection risk when I was little, before they fixed my heart. So, I, I... <laughs> didn't really see a lot of kids or do a lot of stuff. I just spent my time at home with my mom. That was it, you know, so that's always been their theory. They're like, well, you were basically in your late teens when you started having like multiple friends and doing stuff like that. And when I was 18, like all my friends were literally 14. So it's like where I was at mentally. Um, but now I'm 29. I don't know how that happened or, oh, um, what else did I do? I met the guy that I said that I liked, although when I made the video, um, I uh, really had a trouble. Uh, I've always had like this very stressed out sort of thing where I tr try to make everything perfect that I'm saying. So I wanted to make sure that people knew that I liked him as a person, that I respected him and 
and and liked him but i also like my own mother that doesn't mean that i have romantic feelings towards my mother obviously so uh that's what i meant when i said that i liked him and it became a huge thing for some people they were like oh Nick's in love and i'm like no i'm not in love i um happen to respect him as a human being and also i think that he is attractive uh, and then he came here and we met and that was really fun uh, and we had plans a couple of times and as I sat close to him I, I leaned my head against his shoulder when we watched TV a couple of times um, and that was literally it so it was exactly like literally exactly what I wanted um, friends but kind of cuddly friends if you can even call it cuddling so that was really interesting um, what else have I been doing I don't know I've been drinking a lot of tea and watching some TV and really um, started liking hiking more because I've never considered myself a hiker. But I have every day always, you know, with my dog who sadly passed away over a year ago now. Um, we used to be out walking the forest, but that's not hiking really. It's more like taking a regular walk, if you understand what I mean. So, but I do have really been more interested in like proper more like hiking so I'm hoping to do that and I think that's also a great motivation for me to start taking regular walks again I guess it's been kind of sporadic ever since my dog died obviously because every time I went into the forest I just ended up crying rivers because you know it was just oh shit ah shit my phone is saying stuff yeah I cried rivers in the forest basically uh, but I think um, I have been starting to, I've been taking more walks now and everything is like nice and dandy and I just, uh, I feel pretty good. I do, I do. Um, so I guess that's what I've been doing lately. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been a busy time in various different ways, but, um, and this is spread out over months and months of time that I haven't been video vlogging or had time to mention things one after another and when I made a video it's been about the shit that I haven't covered in the past so this is all spread out from like late spring early summer to now basically I don't know but I've been doing a lot of stuff like that and then quitting the job and being in the hospital was pretty recent that's just a couple of weeks ago so I'm working now and getting another place to to work and be and I still haven't been back there to get my things actually I have a cup there and a pair of the outdoor pants because we obviously spend a at least uh, well, some time every day out with the children and then it's good to be able to pull something out of your on, on top of your regular pants because it can get chilly outside so I had, I had to go I have to go get it and kind of say goodbye and get closure but I've been putting it off because if I go back there I feel like I'm never gonna leave um so that's gonna be I don't want to quit, but I have to. I don't know. I want to take it back, like, every day, but it's okay. It's going to be okay. But I'm running out of battery, and this video is long, but I'm glad I managed to cover everything within 15 minutes. So I think that I kind of did pretty well, and now I'm going to go and have some tea. And just, I have a new kettle, and it's months old by now, and I wanted to show you, but I still haven't. But it's dark outside now, because now it gets dark at, at, at around, like, 4 or 5 here in the afternoon, because I live so high up north. In Sweden and when it's fall and going towards winter it's basically dark here all the time and when it's summer it's bright like all the time it it's like literally all the time so but there's so much crap here right now but <laughs> you know what darlings <clears throat> shh, shh, you know every home is a bit messy so shh, there we go we tied it up oh maybe I shouldn't have my private letters here for you to see my bank stuff there we go okay want to see my random stuff here we go look Ta -da! this is a baseball that i found outside um and i brought it with me because um uh, it's been lying there forever and i don't think anyone would miss it they could just buy a new one i hope it didn't mean anything to them it seems to be a regular one and it looks like this does that tell you anything i try to google it a little bit uh, looks fine. I have cleaned it. Um, I try to play with my dog with it, but back in the day, because it's very old now, but she didn't quite love that. We have gum sponsored, of course, by them. Not. Um, we have one tissue unused. Um, we 
have one that I bought. This one, I bought it, but see it has a little dot there? I think I paid too much for it, honestly, for it being kind of cheap thing. But it's gold and it's kind of cute. It's just exactly my kind of style, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to switch to that wallet. Um, we also have um, Bamsa, World's Strongest Bear. It's a comic book here that I grew up reading. And this is just something that was accidentally kind of came with me from the... Uh, or not with me, actually. Mother was the one there shopping. And she, it's like fruit, fruit moment. And I guess it teaches you about fruit. Yeah, see how you can clean it and cut it and put it into a little lemonade or something. See, very cool. Um, oh, shit. And then we have a little thing that, where am I here? That I usually see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Yeah, see. So I put my cup in there. And here is my kettle. Look how beautiful it is. Ding ding. Um, I wanted one of these. Not exact. I don't remember if it was the exact brand, but I wanted one of these. Um, but I can never find them. Uh, and then one day, mother just comes home with it. So that was very surprising. This is me trying to fill the kettle while holding the camera in one. We can fill it up to ooh, one liter, <laughs> so you'll have more of an effect. Look here. Oh shit! My fruit, my fruit moment bumps the thing is falling into the abyss of the sink, the abyss that is the sink. And look, cool, huh? Do you want more of an effect? Oh yeah! And that is why I wanted to show it to you. It's friggin' boss! Wow, I never say stuff like that. That is... Hello! Well, this is nice and Halloween-y. Oh shit, I'm running out of battery, I forgot. Um, but basically, it's gonna take forever for it to boil, but it's beautiful. And it's kinda beautiful when it boils up a bit. See? We can... Do this again, so see. So that is something that is really nice, especially when it is kind of dark here and stuff. Um, but that is that that's that's um, that's my life right now, and um, that's very noisy. Uh, thank you for watching. If you watch this, it is so long. I am. Uh, Completely incapable of making short videos, apparently, but have a jolly good time. I hope you're well. Um, leave me comments telling me about your life, because as you know, as I hope you know, I love video blogging because I can make friends. Because seriously, most of you are not just subscribers or quote-unquote subscribers. You're friends and acquaintances. Because, ugh. So leave my message, comment, whatever, or don't. Eh. You know, lurk around, you do whatever you want. Thank you for watching to this point if you did. Okay. <laughs>